What if you wanted to start a pro ISIS club at an American Ivy League university? There's a lot of our student organizations that do things like that. Would the assistant dean of students have a problem with the humanitarian club sending care packages to terrorists? Well, a big question, man. And I think programs like that really do have a good place here at Cornell. Maybe we could get like a freedom fighter to come and do like a training camp for students. You'd be allowed to do something like that, it's just like bringing in a coach to do a training on a sports team. Or something oh, really? Like okay. Uh, you know, I, I, you can't make this up. James O'Keefe, founder of Project Veritas, investigative journalist who has done such great work, uh, the man who brought down Acorn and the man who has exposed so many for so much. Uh, James, welcome, sir. Great to be with you again. Thank all you. Right, all right. So you go, you send your guy uh, into Cornell, and, and and did you ever expect to get this kind of reaction? And why? I mean, did, did you know anything in advance? I mean, why did you target this guy? Why Cornell? Did you think you knew something about this guy to begin with? Well, Cornell's an Ivy League university. It's in New York. We're located in New York, and it's a prestigious school. And we wanted to do an investigation on campuses, and. We figured Cornell was a good place to start. There is other material we haven't released yet um, in other places. This is our first in a series. And uh, we didn't have any reason, I mean, all, other than the political correctness that's pervasive on campus, other than the fact that sometimes maybe there aren't boundaries on campus. But we, we, we were shocked, particularly by the analogy between bringing a Hamas or Islamic State freedom fighter to, to hold training camps to a coach holding training camps. So it, it's, I think he, he knew what we were talking about. Um, it's, it's frankly just shocking. It's shocking to the alumni and to the donors of Cornell as well, based on the reaction we've seen. Yeah, well, what ha tell me what the reaction has been. The office of Cornell University got flooded with phone calls from concerned alumni yesterday from stakeholders in the university. The university president issued a statement, which is unusual because typically it's a spokesperson for the university that issues a, a, a statement. But Yesterday was Cornell's Giving Day, and we did not anticipate that. Um, that. That wasn't something that we timed. It's called Cornell Giving Day on March 25th. So this investigation came out on the same day. They're supposed to raise millions and millions of dollars. And many alumni are, are, are angry and upset, uh, particularly about the Hamas comment that was made. People say we didn't use the word ISIS. We said Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. We did clearly say Hamas. And these organizations are considered terrorist organizations. And this guy had no problem with it. Um, but tell, tell us, James, what, what the Hamas comment that was made. I mean, you, just using the word Hamas and him acquiescing, is that what you're referring to? Or did he say something uh, in support of Hamas? Yeah, he said that uh, at this university, we do not uh, discriminate. We do not um, uh, tell you who, or who you can or cannot support. If you want to bring a group like that, that's fine. If you want to start a group like that, that's fine. And he also acknowledges in the tape something that many in the media have overlooked. You know, he says... We don't. We're not prejudiced. Don't. Even if it's controversial, it's not something we're going to uh, oppose. And that shows me that he knew what we were doing was wrong. Right. Um, and and so there was a kind of mental. There was a there was acknowledgement on his behalf. I mean, you um, said training camp for freedom fighters for crying out loud. Yes, it's 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 pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the, but as usual, they attack the messenger, and this is a threat to Cornell. This is a huge threat. Their donors are upset. And they have no choice but to uh, attack the messenger. All right. So, so, uh, w what's going to happen to this guy? Have you had any indication that something's going to happen to this dean? Uh, are you expecting a, a statement? If the, if one hasn't been issued already, you could inform me from the university that it is not the policy of Cornell University to allow terrorist training camps and coaches on campus. Yeah. Tuesday night, the New York. There was a statement in the New York Post by Cornell vice president which said essentially, you know, we do not acknowledge violence. This does not reflect university policy. So they did disavow his statements on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, the president of Cornell issued a longer statement attacking me and attacking Project Veritas, which is typical. Um, but there is more to come. And I, I don't know whether the dean is going to get fired or, or they spoke to him. He, the dean claims he didn't really know what was going on. Of course, that's what everyone always says after they're caught on videotape. But we presented all these comments in context. Nothing was edited out of context. This is exactly what we saw. And the fact that people are attacking my editing techniques, I think shows that, um, apologize, shows that 
in fact, something wrong was done. If they have to attack editing, it means they're not right. okay with the behavior in the tape. All right, Bob, and, and just one question uh, without divulging too much. Uh, give us a hint of what we could expect going forward here on this issue and when. Well, we're, we're just finishing the production now. We're actually going to hold a press conference on this next one because we think it's that big. And who does it involve? Well, another Ivy League school, perhaps? Or this school, is it more Cornell? It, in, it, we, I don't want to give out. Yeah. No, I, I can't tip my okay. hand on these things as usual. It's a pro okay. policy of Project Veritas. But I will say we are going to hold a press conference. It's the, 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 the comments are incendiary. They get worse. And it's going to be a national national story and it's really going to be coming soon and the comments you say to get worse from the same gentleman same school or different i, I i'm not gonna okay give okay uh, james great work thank you we'll speak to you soon webb hubble is next folks don't go away